Hi friends, welcome to DIYs and Crafts with Nosh. I'm participating in the charity craft challenge hosted by What's Jamie Making and co-hosted by Connie's Creative Creations. This challenge is special because not only do we get to participate with a bunch of excellently creative ladies, but we also stand the chance to donate some money to our favorite charity organization should we win the challenge. So, I will be giving a makeover to this drab box which I picked up I think a year a uh, year back before uh, COVID hit our lives with a lot of miseries. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this was from a thrifty store. I'm always collecting boxes and things like that for storage. So the first step that I've done is added some soda, a baking powder to white acrylic paint. And I'm going to give it my first coat all over the box. I'm just making a line there, but that's really insignificant because later on, um, I went over that as well. I painted over that as well, so it does not really make any difference. So that's my first coat. So one of the um, criteria of the challenge was that the design must include a dominant pattern or print. So I decided to uh, introduce the shabby chic elements of rustic with intricate lace some pastel colors and stripes i love that so right now i'm giving the lid the first coat And this is the second coat. I will be giving three coats in total. Um, that's only because, uh, I mean, that was necessary to cover up the existing dark color. And I will also be introducing decoupage, but the decoupage would be um, confined only to the lid. And that is the uh, the pattern or the print which will be dominating um, the entire box actually speaking if you're visiting me for the first time can I request you to consider subscribing to my channel it's free and it really helps me grow you can just press the red icon under the video which says subscribe and also please press the bell notification icon that lets you know every time I publish a video and I publish two videos a, a week. If you like this video, you can also press the thumbs up icon. Now with that said, let's get back to our video. So as you can see, I've done three uh, coats and now I have masked, um, applied a little bit of masking tape. Uh, this is the paper masking tape which I've applied and now I'm going to apply the this is a pastel pink or a baby pink I will be giving two coats and I think the best part about um, this technique is where you actually get to <laughs> remove or unmask <laughs> the tape. It's a lovely feeling, isn't it? But it can be a little unnerving because you're constantly worried that uh, the paint should not bleed. So now that I'm done with that, I will be applying some Mod Podge which I think I have not uh, recorded, but I will be applying some Mod Podge over there. Now I'm going to move with the decoupage um, technique for which I have taken this rice paper from Creativa and the beauty with rice paper is that uh, you can just apply some water um, on this brush and 
and uh, it makes it moist and very easy to kind of um, tear so I'm now tearing apart the uh, the part which is outside the boundary of the box and I'm going to use this glue you can also use Mod Podge I had some of this left so I'm just using that so the technique with Mod Podge is that you first apply the glue I'm sorry the technique with decoupage is that you apply the glue on the surface spread it evenly and then you apply your um, paper in my case it's the rice paper and then um, try to use maybe a plastic sheet or something so that you can get the air bubbles out because uh, that is what generally tends to happen the air bubbles and you have to get that out once that is done we are now going to um, apply this glue again and seal it the advantage of doing this is that uh, even if you have some um, you know if you've kept a coffee mug or something on top of it it's not going to stain and it kind of seals it at the same time I decided to kind of add some uh, pearls just to kind of uh, make it more fanciful just scatter it here and there on the petals and because this box is my entry um, to the challenge so I really wanted to deck it up I'm now going to place one of these actually I will be placing the pink uh, lace around the border and with that I'm going to call it a day for my box I hope you like this tutorial I hope you like how the shabby chic box turned out if you did please don't forget to uh, leave a comment I love reading your comments thank you very much for visiting me today I'll see you again with another DIY bye bye